What is the most iconic map in Splatoon history? Well, it's probably a stage that's been in multiple games. And the only stage that's been in three games, no walleye, your spiritual successor, do not count, is Moray Towers. This stage has been in Splatoon 1, Splatoon 2, and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which totally counts. And I think many of you would agree with me that it is the most iconic Splatoon map in the series, but it's not iconic for the right reasons. Because this map was horrible, and I guess I've never played the Super Smash Bros. versions, but for the Splatoon versions, this map was pretty awful. And while this stage has its fans, I would say majority of the Splatoon player base breathed a heavy sigh of relief when they realized that Moray Towers wasn't in Splatoon 3. But what if Moray did come in Splatoon 3, but we made it better? I actually think it could have some potential, because this stage has some redeeming qualities. First off, this stage has a really cool setting, and also we don't have nearly enough vertical stages in Splatoon 3. And uh, yeah, that's about it. that's all that's good with Moray Towers. Now let's talk about what's bad about Moray. This stage can be very cramped in some areas as the mid is very small and also the lanes or whatever you call these things can be extremely narrow, making them very annoying to fight on. And then somewhat ironically, it can feel like the stage is way too big for the re-entry of getting back into mid sometimes feels like it takes ages because of these two ginormous falls. And in these areas, there's also these platforms, which almost feel like the enemy can get there easier than you can, especially if they set up beacons. It also favors long range weapons, which to many is going to be a big negative of the stage, although some may enjoy it. So how could we fix the stage in a way that magnifies the positives and reduces the negatives, while keeping the overall feel of Moray Towers? Not that Nintendo has problems dramatically changing stages, if you know what I mean. So for starters of me changing the stage, I'm going to be pulling a flounder shorts and reduce the height from each of these platforms by a significant margin. Enough to make getting into mid from spawn not as much of a chore as it was in Splatoon 2. Also, I'm going to flatten out the spawn area just a bit to allow the mid-air spawning system some room to breathe and allow you to spawn closer to the right side, which makes getting to your right side of the platform much easier, something that's going to be important in a change I'm going to be talking about in a minute. Now I'm also going to widen out this mid area by making the first lane more part of mid, if you can see by this little graphic here. And now here is probably the most drastic change that I'm going to be adding. You see, getting up here to challenge the charter that for some reason is always here, there are a multitude of ways that you can get to this pesky charger, but all of them have to peak the charger in some way or another. And so I'm going to be adding these Mahi Mahi style islands, no no, not, not that Mahi Mahi, I meant that's two star hotel. I'm talking about the old good Mahi. And they're going to be pretty tall, but not as tall as the towers right next to them. And I'm not sure how I'm going to connect them either by maybe jumps or ink rails or grates. I'd love to hear how you'd connect these islands in the comments. But most importantly, there's going to be cover to allow you to move through these islands without getting sniped. And I think that's all I would change about this stage. I truly believe Mori has potential. Well, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. But anyways, my name is Kyle Fran, and I'll see you in the next one.